Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And in the last video, we took a look, we took a look at the edge routers. In this video, we're going to do a quick catch up of where we're at on the store and on the website with Ubiquity for edge switches. So a, a viewer did point out to me that if you go to the store and you search for edge router, the other models come up. So we'll take a look at that real quick. So let's do a store search. And we will search uh, for edge router. And now you can see here's the 12, the 4, the 6, the 12P, the 10X, and the Infinity. So these are all currently supported, non-vintage, non-legacy edge routers. So we got, we got that out of the way. But let's go back to where we were at. And let's look. When you just go to their website and go to Wired and EdgeMax Edge Max Switching... Uh, compact PoE is what they're calling this. You get the 8-port 150-watch switch, which is an absolute beautiful piece of, of kit. And then when you go to high-capacity PoE, you get the 24-port, which is also another really awesome switch. And then you've got the 48 down here, which is sold out. And for a long time, we couldn't get these, and we use a lot of the 8-port. I mean a lot. So when you look at the kinds of features that you get with an edge switch, you get, I mean, it, it's comparable to, um, you know, name a, name a brand, a, a Cisco, a Juniper. Now, it's not all the way there. Right now, people are going to start yelling at me, well, they don't have stacking and they don't have, you know, uh, VTP and they don't have all these other things. And that's, that's true. But for the price that you're paying for an edge switch 8, it will do layer three static. It has ACLs. It has quality of service. It can do auto voice VLAN. Uh, it, it, it is a full featured switch. There is no doubt about it. And then it snaps into UISP, formerly known as UNMS, and you can manage it uh, through a single pane of glass along with your edge routers and any of your, your AeroS devices, air fiber, things like that. So, the power of these little switches is, is why we still use it. You can still do passive PoE, standard PoE. Um, you can, um, you know, mount these in a variety of situations. These eight ports, they are, they're fanless. And so, I mean, we, we literally buy them by the, the box full when we can get them. So name a feature down in the comments, and I'll reply to you and let you know if this switch can do that. So on to availability. So let's do a store search and we'll do UISP and we will do edge switch. And you can see, and by the way, if you, if you noticed, and I'll show you, show you the screen here in just a second, I forgot to switch over. When we were on the legacy vintage products, there were no edge switches on the legacy vintage product page. So when I do a search for edge switch, Here's the 8, the 24, 250 watt, because there used to be a 24 port 500 watt. Yeah, it's down here at the bottom. You've got the Edge Switch 16 XP, which is two of the 8 port switches. Now, one thing that I did notice is I don't see the 8 port switch that makes this up, which would be the 8 XP. They do have the 5 XP, which is a decent switch. It's a little bit lighter. But uh, here's your, your 12F, so that's all um, SFP cages besides the four copper ports. The 10XP, we use a lot of those. Here's your 10 gig, so all of the ports in the 16XG are all 10 gig capable. So they still have a full lineup of edge switches. Availability is just is just the unknown. And like I said, none of these are on the vintage or the legacy products. And we use a lot of the edge switches. One of my favorite things to do, and I'm going to do a video on it, is to use like an edge switch 8 PoE and have it at a site. With It could be with a USG. It could be with any other gateway. But if you've got a small amount of cameras, uh, handing the routing for that VLAN off to the switch, letting the switch handle all that, that traffic instead of passing a VLAN through through my gateway. So we do that. We do that often. We'll offload some of that routing to a layer three 
switch. How do you use your edge switches? And are you happy that all of the edge switches seem to still be available? And I would assume if there was a security problem, Ubiquity would put a firmware out for that. But let me know down in the comments what you think about the edge switches in 2023. I think they're absolutely viable. We absolutely still use them. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok down below. I will leave an affiliate link for some edge switches down below if you'd like to support the channel. There's also a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting to get your network checked up, voice over IP, storage, security, all those things, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.